welcome 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 bell me cherry here come on in happy sunday um so we're coming in to share with you guys our trip from saturday um we did go to quite a few stores within the same day to see what was available can't wait to share with you guys what was there um we still have some jacqueline cosmetics products lingering around but not as much especially with the blushes most of them are gone the variety of color range that was there no more but then again we still have a couple of goodies to share with you guys hope you guys are enjoying your day and we'll be enjoying this trip around for this week um so without further ado let's get to it enjoy watching We're here at um, TJ Maxx. Just spotting this palette here. This big dripping palette is coming back around. I'm trying for it not to fall. Yeah. So this one's coming back around. It's a really nice palette. Um, and it's here for $19.99, I'm sure. Yes, everything is $19.99 from Morphe. These big palettes are. But this is new here. This 35T um sweet sweetest tea palette for $19.99 as well this came out early this year so glad to see it here what it's looking like a lot of warm orangey shades and some muddy shades as well really pretty this um lisa frank x morphe sponge collection here that is just cute i used to love lisa frank's stuff at school uh treat me sweet this is more like a candy machinery type of effect we're looking like we're looking at here but it has different size of sponges on here so cute it's here for 7.99 this 39a palette here it's a humongous palette of morphe there to create this is like huge comparing to the other sizes so it's here and um $24.99 this is the inside it has a lot of um neutral shades in the middle to either contour or highlight with depends on the skin tone and um the other smaller y'all see it um really pretty and this brush collection here brush set here from morphe all the looks this is a five this is eye brush for eight dollars eight ninety nine to be precise and uh, all of eye brushes this eyeshadow palette here from undone beauty I've never seen this product here at uh, TJ Maxx. It's here for $5.99. This is what it looks like. I'm spotting some new shades of lip crayons here from Morphe. These soft um, neutral shades here, TTYL and BRB, are here and they're going for $3.99. Also, these Morphe 2. Um, lip balms coral kisses and um and these shadow sticks here lucky penny and um up on a star there's a few here this one is what a highlighter first light there's also a new lash pair of lashes here from morphe for 5.99 the microfiber sponge of Morphe is also here for $2.99. Quad um, palette here from Morphe 2 is also here for $5.99. So we have the eye uh, shadows, the blush, the lippies, and also highlights, I believe. This last one here on there. The layout or the of each of the where the shades go looks like this so pretty this highlight or this eyeshadow then the blush 
then the lippy and the creamy highlight so cute so we're here at marshall's i just bought it these mark jacobs um bronzers coming back around this is like a trio bronzer highlight and a blush in one it's here for $19.99 this is Tentastic Glow um, shape 200 this is the packaging for it so stunning <clears throat> it's more on the lighter uh, shade range so that's that one we also have this one here, which is tantalizing, which is shade 250, a tad bit deeper. This is a tad bit deeper than the first one. We still have plenty of these Too Faced um, eyeshadow palette, the Sweet Peach for $29.99. These are the shades. These hydrating lip glosses here from Sigma. Here are the shades, they like more of an orangey glittery shade they're here for $5.99 so it is here as well from Sigma for $5.99 passionate is the name of the shade here we have these liquid liquid lipsticks here from the XX Revolution the Matrix collection the Matrix collection we've seen a little bit here and there of their product this is for $4.99 here the green, red peel and the green peel, of course. I wonder if it's a true green um, of a lipstick. Right, this new brand here, uh, Fodia, Fodia. This is a blueberry hydrating toner. Love the packaging, you guys. It is here for $7.99. And this is also a cream of the same for $9.99. So this brand here, Taste Beauty, has these lip balms, flavored lip balms here. This is like a Kellogg's um, cereal collection on here. It's here for $3.99. It's super cute, but childish though. And there's these Mountain Dew, um, also lip balms. Comes with stickers for $3.99. So cute these new brushes here from um, Moda these are pretty new I have not seen them here they're pretty much they do for me they make pretty pretty good brushes these are 100% vegan and cruelty free and this one is $7.99 love the handles there's also these with the smoky effect on the handles these are more for eye brush these are eye brushes so i'm here at marshall's at another marshall i just spotted some more stuff from of jacqueline cosmetics this is the overall blush stick for $5.99 um however we have tons of black opal cream foundation or um, foundation stick here several shades 730s here 360 and also the mac powder for perfecting powder foundation this is in the shade of 740 this has a matte finish this is like a cream to powder uh, foundation 740 and 240 is here and uh, 440 I feel might fit me let's check them out they're, they're here for $5.99 we spotted this last time but we have different varieties of black opal products right now here we have from Revolution X Friends collection Chandler's eyeshadow palette we have not come across the this one it's also $4.99 here these are the shades so pretty the pastel um style of shadows it's still pretty this black opal eyeshadow palette here for $4.99 as well 
not sure what's going on but we have black opal everywhere from wet and wild we have these blush duos um for 3.99 we did spot these over here last time they're much paler oh did we hmm not sure if we even did but we did see one but it, it's neither of these colors um but we have several shade range on here for $3.99. Now if we're seeing this blush here, this is a jelly uh, consistency on here. So this is a cream blush and it's here for $2.99. Then on the side here, let's go through it together. To start, we have this Catrice Cosmetics Sunigasm Luminizing Bronzer here. This is stunning. And it's here for only $3.99, guys. There's more here. And we have this from Lip Set again from Jacqueline Cosmetics. Unwrap me. I think I'm finally gonna grab this one. Looking to get more red lippies in my collection. And this is another shade range of the cream blush stick royal flush um we did spot this one this is a palette the face palette of two blushes and a highlight on here i have this or do i so i want to pair up the creamy blush with this the shade range is on here we'll see how that goes here at tj maxx i um just came across this dual bronzer and blush um, products here from Stila. We did spot these in the past, but there are different shade range of these, you guys. There's this bronze Petunia and bronze Lilium. Um, thought I mentioned that because I thought it was just one shade. It's here for $7.99. From Too Faced, we have this Honey Bun Glow here teddy bear um it's here for 14.99 packaging is stunning and this is what it looks like looks like it's already been swatched three lip injection extreme these are the um plumping glosses here from Too Faced these are this is a pack of three for $19.99 across this NC a 10 studio fix 24 hours concealer from MAC it's here for $9.99 we're here um, spotting some new lashes we did see this one last time Belle of the Ball from this Pro Beauty brand essential brand here and we now have this perfect lashes here I believe it's the same yeah Pro Beauty as well this is so pretty the bands are clear could barely see them very long and they're here for $7.99 although these have more volume to them but still pretty this travel um, size kit here of Laneige products it has different um, cleanser essentials hydro essential gels mask and all that stuff here um, for $12.99 it's here for Thank you. And over here we have a, a set of the Dr. Teal um, brand here, like shower gels and stuff. So we have the Epsom salt with lavender scent. Yes, it has two shower gels in here and a an essential oil and another spray just to promote, you know, relaxation and stuff. And we have the eucalyptus and spearmint here also really nice how much is this uh low price oh it's 6.99 that's not bad at all i'm here at uh tj maxx i'm just i just stumbled on these two marquee palettes here so this one is um a 35-0 natural glow glow artistry palette and this one is also a 35-0 i didn't know they had two 35-0s so this one is Supernatural Glow. And here are the shades. Um, 
This is of the Natural Glow. Some warm shades on here. This is the Natural Glow with some warm brown shades on here. They look similar. So similar ex with the exception of like some orangey placement shades on here. So yeah, they're both $20, $19.99. Um, if you have one, I don't think you would need the other one. So well, that's what that is. They have the Flower Love from Rude Cosmetics here. This one is the Gardener. I did spot the florists around um, here and there, but that's what's here now. Um, I'm spotting some other uh, <clears throat> Neutrogena products here. This I may get. It has the retinol and vitamin C. I love their vitamin C. And this also has SPF 30 on here as well. Only for $9.99. It's a lot more at Walmart uh, at full price. And um, yeah, I need this in my life. And they also have this one here. This is the anti wrinkle. This is a night cream uh, or moisturizer with also retinol on here and hyaluronic acid this may be for yes 9.99 as well all right if you made it here this far you saw what was at the store you saw how it was um i was able to grab a couple of goodies because i noticed if i don't grab them by next week there will be no more to start i did grab me another jacqueline cosmetics blush i this one is love language it is in the orangey corally shade range um not as bright or i don't believe as the first one okay so this is the first one that I got last time. This is the new one. It's more pinkish. Although this, I don't feel was as onto your face of an orangey shade that I expected, but I loved how it was on the skin. I loved how it was applied. Listen, any of these shades, if you were able to grab them, good for you. But if not, then too bad. This was the only color that I noticed that was still there. And a couple of the um, Love of My Life L-O-M-L shade range. But any of the other colors, nowhere. We had them stacked up last week. Now they're gone. We're just spotting one here and there. So if some someone must have known what this is about and went and got all of them. So, but I got me this one. I am going to be on the lookout for still for other deeper shade range. Think hopefully I'm able to spot anything. So since I noticed all of her products are just, you know, disappearing within a week, I wanted to try her cream blush as well. I got me this one. This one is Royal Flush. Um, this is more of a pinkish shade i'm trying to be careful oh, this is what happens to the blush and i did spot a few of them like that and i left them and i thought this one was a good one i guess not so this is an issue be careful getting this out of opening this because it because it tends to stick and um not sure if this is you know of great quality or not but i saw how the powdery blush was nice i wanted to try this one as well this looks not this doesn't look bad at all i spread it out looks very pigmented and it has like a powdery finish to it i like it and i did grab this one from the past trip this may be a good complementary of that sh shade. So this shade on this palette, I'm gonna apply on top of that one just to make it pop some more, but this is really cute. It's not patchy or anything, super nice. So although the stick, the product stick on the top of the lid, we need to watch out, watch out for that, but I'm not mad at, at how it applied on the skin. I went and grabbed me one of her lippies. This one is Sincerely Yours. 
a corally shade range as well um let's do a swatch thought it would be much more orangey again but it, it doesn't seem to be this is it sincerely yours is more of a mauvish pinkish mauvish shade are they mistaking the color on the this is the color and this is the color of the blush there's they're nowhere similar and this is the color is this yes yeah, the same shade and this is the color the bottle says this would be as but it's more purpley pinkish than orangey corally what are we doing here, Jacqueline Cosmetics? This is not the shade. This is not nowhere near the color of the shade that I have swatched here. We got a problem. That's not what I need. That's what I want. That's not what I wanted. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We gotta reprocess this one. Um, it feels soft and matte but I don't like the color. That's not the color I thought I was buying. I wanted a corally orangey shade and that's what was promised with the tags and the color of the bottle. What's going on? Okay, I got me this one from her as well. Unwrapped Me is this color, is this collection or this lippy set. Um, a lot of y'all been saying this might have been a holiday collection. This is what the color is. Ooh. I don't think I have reds like this. This is like a deep red. And it comes with a lip liner. If it'll come out, it's not coming out. It is not coming out. What's going on? There we go. All right, this is the lip liner with the lipstick. It's very creamy. It's not like a pencil type of um, crayon. It is so pretty. Can't wait to try it. It's so deep and rich. So yes, I got me those and also grabbed me this Sungasm luminous bronzer from catrice i have not used catrice products i know they were once available at alta if i'm not mistaken but now that you could find them online but every now and then i find i would spot them at tj maxx and marshall's i'm trying to see what it is all about this is like a bronzer to some, to some people but this may be like a blue a highlighter to me because I do like my highlighters to be more subtle and into my skin coming through my skin type of highlighter so this looks really nice I grabbed me the retinol vitamin C moisturizer of Neutrogena I do have quite a few I used to use their um, you know this here this is my eye cream from them that I normally use every now and then and I used to have their capsule of uh, vitamin C, which I truly love. But that thing is like 30 something dollars. So finding this at the store was just like a steal for $9, for $10. This is retinol plus vitamin C moisturizer and sunscreen on there. So hopefully it doesn't leave a cast and hopefully it does the same thing as the vitamin C that I once used. Okay, on here, it gives me my percentage of the ingredients, which I truly love. I don't see any of the, of the percentage of the active vitamin C on here. Maybe I'm not, the wording is different. But we have percentages on here. Which one is vitamin C? I don't know. But the ones, the one that I had the capsule alone has like 3% vitamin C and that thing was powerful. Like it would, it was activated, activated and I loved it. 
So this, I, I like already because I like the previous one that I used. Hopefully, I don't have any issues with it. Um, I believe that's it, my loves. I can't wait to pop these shades or these blush and these lippies and any other of these products that I have purchased here. Oh, well, I did grab me, um, I didn't film it because I did show you guys from previous, previous um, trips at TJ Maxx. I finally went and grabbed me the Body Treat Rose Blend Body Oil um, from Pixie. I normally use these body oils. I failed to grab a few the last previous trips when they were all over the place. So now they're nowhere to be found. It'd be like that. I've had, you know, they have a pattern. Every now and then they will flush them on us. But now they're nowhere to be found. So I had no choice but to jump onto this Pixie body oil because I, I can't not I cannot leave without my body oils. I need my body oils. Mixed with my lotion and my skin is glistening the whole day. So I'm using this. This is my first time using that one right now. So it doesn't smell as good as my previous ones, but it smells good, um, but not as good. So hopefully it does me well. I'll see if it does. It's around the same price range as the other ones. So we'll see how that goes. And, um, and um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for your time and your subscription if you have not done so thus far please do so it'll do me a great deal oh i have great news we made our four thousand watch hours so like this is huge news major step closer to my um monetization i know y'all be watching i know y'all got my back y'all be watching i met my four thousand hours watch out 4,000 4, watch hours um, before even gotten to getting to a whole thousand subscribers. So I know I have great quality subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm so stunned. Like, I'm, I'm so happy. So right now we are at 817. Can't wait to reach that thousand. But I know in due time, it'll be like a no bueno, no bueno. You guys got my back. So thank you so much for watching, truly. And if you are watching and you're not subscribing, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I don't know if y'all want me to strip naked and do some crazy dance for y'all, but that, cause that's not, that's not, that's not gonna happen, okay? But I really need your support. Share these videos, help me get to these subscribers, to this subscription goal, and um, we will enjoy together um all right so that's about it i will see you guys on the next one and thank you for watching bye bye